Hey guys, it's Coach Tricker. I'm here to talk to you about specific heat today. And it's important to understand that the definition of specific heat is the amount of heat or energy it takes to raise one gram of a substance one degree Celsius. Okay, so the amount of heat energy it takes to raise one gram of a substance one degree Celsius. The, the formula that we're gonna use for that is, is uh, Q equals MC delta T. All right, which usually we call that Q equals M cat to, to remember that. So like MC delta T looks like cat, all right? And Q is the heat energy and the unit is gonna be in joules, J-O-U-L-E-S, okay? So we're not talking about the family joules, we're talking about energy joules and the abbreviation for that is a capital J. Mass, okay, is gonna be M, little m, and that the unit is gonna be in grams, the C stands for specific heat, and it's a, a multiple, it's a derived unit, so it's gonna have a complex unit, so it's gonna have three things in one unit. So it's a joule divided by gram uh, degree Celsius. So that's the unit for specific heat. And then temperature is gonna be the change in temperature. So it's gonna be the, you know, the, the final temperature minus the initial temperature, and that's gonna be in degrees Celsius. Okay, so we're gonna go over a couple practice problems here so you can look at it. So in the first problem, you always need to make a formula tree so you know what you're given. And you can remember what you're given and know that by comparing the units. So if I'm given a joule, then I know that I'm given my Q. If I'm given grams, then I know that I'm given my mass. If I'm given a joule gram degree Celsius, I know that that's my specific heat. And if I'm just given a degree Celsius, that's my change in temperature. And remember, it's gonna be uh, final temperature minus initial temperature for that delta T formula. All right, so we look at the first one. It says a 15.75 gram. So where would that go? That's gonna go here. 15.75 gram piece of iron absorbs 1,086.75 joules of heat energy. So where would that go? Well, if it just gives me the unit joules, I know that it goes for Q. So that's 1,086.75 joules of energy and its temperature changes from 25 degrees Celsius to 175 degrees Celsius. So my final temperature is 175 degrees Celsius minus my initial temperature, which is 25 degrees Celsius. So my change in temperature is 150 degrees Celsius, all right? And then it says calculate the specific heat of iron. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for my specific heat. So there's two ways to do this. You can just know your formula is going to be C equals Q over M delta T, okay? And then just plug and chug, okay? So I can say, okay, Q is 1,086.75 joules divided by my mass, which is 15.75 grams times my delta T, which was 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this time, uh, divided by that, divided by that is gonna give you a C, and that C is gonna equal 0.46 joules divided by grams degrees Celsius for my unit, okay? So that would be your answer. All right, the other way to do it would be to, to just use your Q equals MCAT formula, and you're gonna solve for C. So if I'm given my Q is that, my M is 15.75, I don't know my C, so that's my X, and my delta T was 150 degrees Celsius. So basically, if it's on top with C, I have to get it on the bottom over here, all right? So I'm gonna divide both sides by 15.75, that gets that off of here, I'm gonna divide both sides by 150, degrees Celsius, that gets it off here. So in essence, I have the same formula. So it's this divided by this divided by that. It's gonna give me the same answer, which is 0.46 joules per degree Celsius for my C. All right, because remember, when you're solving algebraic equations, you have to have your X or your unknown on top by itself. So that's the first one. Now, in the second problem, they gave me different stuff. So my second problem, I'm actually solving for my energy. 
So in the second problem, what do they give me? It says, how many joules of heat, so I'm looking for heat, this is my X, that's what I don't know, are needed to raise the temperature of a 10 gram aluminum sample. So 10 grams is my mass. Um, from 22 degrees to 55 degrees. So my 55 degrees Celsius minus 22 degrees Celsius is gonna give me 33 degrees Celsius. Um, and my specific heat, it tells me, is 0 0.90 joules divided by grams degrees Celsius. So now I'm solving for Q. So I can just use my normal Q equals MCAT formula and I just plug and chug. So my mass is 10 grams. My specific heat is 0 0.90. And my change in delta T is 33 degrees Celsius. So that times that times that is going to give me 297 joules of energy. So for the second problem, it's very straightforward, okay? You're looking for Q. You're given that, you're given that, you're given that. And one of the problems people have is a lot of times if they're given a joule, they want to put it, you know, in here. Or if they're C joules, they want to put it over here. Remember, you got to look at the units. Let the units guide you. So if you're given a joule gram over a degree Celsius, you know that you're given C. If you're given just grams, it's M. If you're given just joules, it's Q. If you're given just degree Celsius, it's delta T. All right, so the third problem, the last one we're going to look at, is definitely the hardest one because you have to get into that delta T formula. So it says, to what temperature will 50 gram sample of glass, so 50 grams, okay, a piece of glass, that's the, that's the mass, absorbs uh, uh, 5,275 joules of heat. 5,275 joules of heat is my Q, and the specific heat is 0.5 joules per gram degree Celsius. And it says the initial temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So it's TF minus 20 degrees Celsius. So I'm solving for my TF, all right? So how do I do that? Well, you're gonna use your normal formula, all right? So you've got Q equals MC, and then instead of delta T, you just put in TF minus 20 degrees Celsius, because that is my delta T, all right? And then you plug in, all right? So I've got 5,275 joules equals 50.0 grams. I've got 0 0.50 joules per gram degree Celsius for my specific heat. And then I've got TF minus 20 degrees Celsius. So the first thing you need to do is you need to divide both sides, okay, by 50 and by 0.5 to get them off of this side and over here. So divide by 50, that gets it off of here. Divide by 0.5, that gets it over here, all right? So then you take 5,275, all right, divided by 50, divided by 0.5, all right, and that's going to equal TF minus 20 degrees Celsius. So you take that number and you get a number, and then you're going to subtract that number from 20. I'm sorry, you're going to add 20 on both sides. I mean, so. To get it off of here, you add 20 or 20 plus degrees Celsius, all right? So that, that by adding 20 on both sides, it gets it off of this side, and it's gonna get it over here. I probably should have written it this way. Plus 20 degrees Celsius equals TF, okay? So it's just algebra skills, order of operations, okay? You got your dividing and multiplying first, then you do your subtraction. So this divided by this, divided by this, plus 20 is gonna give me 231 degrees Celsius. So, that's how you do the, the delta T formula. Just add that 20 at the end last to get it off of this side. All right, so hopefully this makes sense and uh, good luck on your work.